Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So this is the 8th part of Jira series and today I'm going to talk about Sprint in Jira. So basically we'll talk about how to set up the Sprint, how to start the Sprint and uh, how we can add user stories or business requirements into uh, Sprint. So basically we'll see, uh, practically we'll see how we can set up the Sprint in Jira tool. Correct. In the last video we talked about what are the different issue types we have and uh, how to customize issue and uh, how we can set up the issue at project level like company managed project and team managed project right today we'll focus completely on sprint in jira so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about what is a sprint and uh, what are the different phases of a sprint we'll talk about how to create or start sprints in jira and later on we'll talk about how to add user stories into the sprint so this is what we are going to discuss today so let's have a look the first topic what is a sprint so in previous videos also i talked about what is a sprint but today let's focus more on like in detail level what is a sprint correct so in the context of agile methodology agile projects or in the context of jira tool a sprint is a period in which a specific set set of work has to be done correct let's understand this with with the help of an example so that you can understand better right so let's say we are working for a project that is ongoing project let's say it's e-commerce site e-commerce site where we have different products and uh, uh, correct so we have uh, different e-commerce platforms like uh, Amazon, Flipkart, like that, right? So let's say our e-commerce website, our site name is ABC, correct? And we have different pages, just like a typical e-commerce website. Let's say we have login page, login page. We have sign up page. We have a home page or product page, and add to cart page, order page, and we have payment page and of course like last logout page right so these are the different pages in a e-commerce website correct and this is ongoing project guys and uh, let's say after uh, like in this particular website we are using the old technologies correct to develop this uh, software we used old software uh, old technologies right now client come up with new requirement now they want us to build this software or revamp they come up with the project called revamp abc site our site name is abc so they want to they come up with the project revamp abc software or product right so the all the pages will be the same but they are we are going to use new technologies into this website this e-commerce site all the pages will be the same correct but they come up with new technology like they are going to use angular or jquery or whatever new technologies they are going to use in this website right now along with the new technologies they come up with some additional features as well for example let's say earlier we don't have this two-way authentication two-way authentication using email or text right in which while logging uh, we can enable this feature after logging into the website, we can enable this feature like two-way uh, communication, two-way authentication using email or text. So that while logging in after entering username and password, it will ask us to enter the OTP as well using through email or text. So this is kind of additional requirement they come up with uh, with this new project, revamp ABC software or ABC product, right? Now, what we are going to do, uh, we cannot develop this project uh, at one time right so what we are going to do we divide the task into smaller units we divide this project into smaller units right so let's say initially we'll de develop this uh, sign up page sign up page and login page login page and later on we'll develop a home page or product page and add to cart page Later on, we'll develop a uh, payment page and logout page like this. So let's say this will consider this will be considered in phase one. This two, 
these two pages will be considered page two and these two will be considered in phase three correct because a lot of activities will be involved in these phases like sign up page and login page some backend development as well right and a lot of uh, different requirements like error validations some hyperlinks some logo on login page but different things will be there when we develop this sign up page and login page and also it involves testing as well in this phase one correct so what we are going to do uh, we'll divide the uh, development the release in different phases correct so, so basically sprint will divide the this will release this phase one in the sprint one cycle sprint one so which is typically of two weeks right most of the projects it will be like two weeks in some project it will be one week as well so let's say in our uh, case sprint cycle is two weeks and we'll deploy this phase one what are the requirements are there for sign up page and login page in this sprint one cycle similarly we'll go for sprint two right and similarly for sprint three so first we'll go for sprint one we'll uh, develop the software we'll uh, test it properly and then deploy it to the production so it will be integrated with the existing existing functionality right existing uh, the product which already there on production correct the only thing is like login page and sign up page will be will be with new technologies right uh, which will be deployed with the new technologies but other things like uh, this is since this is ongoing project so other things will be as it is later on we'll come up with uh, phase two and we'll deploy it similarly we'll come up with phase three and we'll deploy it so it will take around one month to develop this product uh, develop this project right this new project revamp abc product uh, requirement correct right. so this is a sprint now let's talk about what are the different phases we have in a sprint so we have goal of the sprint sprint goal right so every sprint should have a proper goal like what we are going to do what are the set of work has to be done in the particular sprint and sprint planning will be there sprint planning and third would be daily stand up meeting will be there daily stand up meeting will be there and uh, lastly we have a sprint review will review after the each sprint and last we have retrospective meeting active meeting retrospective is nothing but like we'll assess how uh, our sprint went uh, right in the last phase and uh, what went well what went wrong which we can improve on in the upcoming sprint these are the these are the things which we discuss in the retrospective meeting so these are the different activities we do as part of a sprint cycle now let me show you practically how we can start how we can set up the sprint how we can add different you know user stories and how we can start our sprint in jira tool so let me take you to uh, jira tool my jira account where we have already talked about right we have created couple of uh, epics over here so this you can see this uh, purple color this denotes the login page development is an epic correct large amount of work where we have two uh, user stories like ui development backend development so we can here we have plus icon a plus sign where we can add directly user stories over here so if you come to this backlog all the user stories will be listed down over here in the backlog backlog is nothing but the set of work which needs to be prioritized prioritized right by the product owner so you can see here we have couple of user stories ui development and backend development and active sprint we don't have any sprint over here so that's why it is not showing like uh, the workflow of the particular user stories right so let's come back to this timeline and we'll add couple of more user stories so ui development backend development of login page and uh, let's say error validation validation of username and password field right so there are different user stories will be there this, this is just for an example right and user story story four like this four user stories we have for login page development similarly let's say for this sign up page development we will be having some 
uh, details right so let's say user story or fine page development this one user story some ui ui development correct and let's say one more user story user story five you can add any number of like uh, business requirements so we have these are the four requirements for this login page development or sign up page development we have these three requirements over here and you can add a new epic here as well so create epic so we can add new epic over here so sign up page, login page sign up page is done home page home page we can add and you can add like uh, add to cart page cart page like this correct so you can add uh, different epics over here if you go to backlog you will see all the user stories will be listed down over here and the particular epics which is it is associated right so login page development this ui development is associated with login page development backend development is associated with this login page ui right uh, epic similarly for this sign up page ui development user story 5 are linked with this sign up page development epic correct now what we are going to do all will be listed on over here in this backlog and uh, you can see here this me mc sprint one mc is nothing but the key of the project right if you see these projects here you can see mc and in the bracket mc so this is this denotes the uh, denote, denote our project sprint one so we can we can uh, edit the sprint as well and we can delete the sprint from here as well so edit sprint and uh, this is the name of the sprint let me give like underscore sprint one or you can give like milestone as well as per your uh, company uh, like culture right mc underscore sprint one and duration is two weeks i'll decide the date like 28 it will start from today and it will go till 13th of march and a sprint goal you can give sprint goal let me give some like test simply click on update so this has been updated over here mc underscore sprint and the dates now it is it is showing over here like plan your sprint drag issues from backlog section or create new issues and to plan and to uh, to plan the work for this sprint select start a sprint when you are ready so sim uh, simply what we are going to do in the first sprint we are going to just drag these items whatever items are we are going to manage for sprint one correct so error validation as well and uh, user story one so let's say for we are going to develop uh, in this particular sprint login page only so we keep all the login page development issues in this uh, user stories in this mc underscore sprint and here you can see this uh, this bit button has been enabled right earlier it was disabled when we don't have any user stories over here so simply click on this start sprint and your it will ask issues what are the issues we have mc underscore 12 3 4 and 11 do not have value for estimated field so that's fine right uh, that is uh, kind of estimation we'll see that later on and duration custom or we can select two weeks and start date and what is the end date here simply click on start so the sprint will be started sprint is started you can see the message and it will take us to active sprint section right where you can see the life cycle of the sprint uh, user stories so ui development this you can see under the to do so four items are there so that's why to do four you can see over here right and you can drag it to based on your progress you can drag it to the next level as well like uh, in progress right now it's under uh, to do only so we'll keep it under to do correct and if you go to timeline you'll see 
this has been started this mc underscore sprint one has been started you can see the duration over here the sprint sprint and releases you can see what are the epics we have already created so this is how you can create the sprint and you can uh, follow the process like uh, the status of particular ui and you can later on we'll see how we can set up this board as, configure the board as well with different other status as well right and if you go to particular uh, user story let's say i'm going to this user story simply click on the uh, the hyperlink over here mc underscore three and it will be opened in new window right like this and uh, you can see here the status so let's say if i'm changing it to in progress so automatically it will be it will come in this in progress let me refresh it then it will come to this in progress part you are here you can see right so this is how you can manage and you can add the comments and other stuff over here will will which we are going to see later on so this is high level at uh, like for the sprint guys today uh, how we can start how we can set up the sprint and how we can start the sprint in jira tool so let me know if you have any other questions or concern about this sprint in jira so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye